Well, hello friends and welcome back to my channel. I'm Renee and we're going to do some freezer meals today and we're going to do some chicken fajitas, which I think I've done them before, but we're also going to do some shrimp fajitas. I've got three beautiful bags of shrimp in the freezer and we're going to do shrimp fajitas and we're going to do garlic butter shrimp freezer meals. So it'll be wonderful. Right now, we need to do our fajita seasoning. I never keep it on hand, and I probably should, but that's all right. We're going to do a big bunch right now to get us through our meals today. And... Okay. So, what we're going to do, I got a little bit of everything here, and this is going to be great. Now, the these are my um, red pepper flakes. We're not going to use those in the chicken fajitas. Those are going to go in the shrimp ones. So, I'll add those when we put them together, okay? So, we're going to start, and I'm going to make a nice big bunch of this. So, I'm going to do a quarter cup of chili powder. I'm going to do, I'm going to double that because I, I want some of this on hand too. All right. I'm like quadrupling my recipe. Okay. And we're going to do the same amount. Hmm. Maybe. We're going to do the same amount of cumin to a half cup. I'll put the recipe for the single batch in the description box, okay? Oh my goodness. All right. Perfect. Now, we're going to do a tablespoon of garlic. And I got a half tablespoon right here. So, let's see. I'm, I have to figure this out. A tablespoon and a half. There we go. That's of our garlic. We're going to do two teaspoons of our paprika. And we're going to do two teaspoons. I was reading it wrong. Okay. Then we're going to do two, a, tea, a nice teaspoon of pepper and two teaspoons of salt. That's what I'm putting in mine. And, and don't get confused because mine is like quadrupled and then doubled. Ah! So that's what we got. I can probably just mix it right up with this. Break that all up. See that? Beautiful. That'll be perfect. Mix it all up real good. We love fajitas. Beef, chicken, it doesn't matter. We just love them all. Okay. divide this shrimp between these two half gallon bags. Now the shrimp wasn't too bad. It's two pounds. It's large shrimp, the big ones, and for $15. So it's not something you want to do in your budget every week, but for a treat, it's nice to have. So if you ever find it on sale and you like shrimp, buy it. Put it in the freezer. Either butter chicken or butter shrimp garlic butter shrimp we're going to make and we're also going to do these fajitas so it works out pretty good i'm just going to divide them between these two bags there there we go 
Beautiful. Okay, now that we got them divided, we are going to do four tablespoons of our fajita seasoning in each bag here. And then with that, we're going to do two tablespoons of lime juice in each bag. There we go. And we're going to do a tablespoon of olive oil in each bag. And that's going to be our marinade for our shrimp fajitas. Now you could mix this little marinade separately, the spices and the lime juice and the olive oil. You could, you could mix that up separately, pour half over your veggies and the other half over your shrimp, but I just do it all over my shrimp. Get as much air out of the bag and just shake it up. Because as it thaws in your refrigerator overnight, that will marinate and it will be divine. Okay, so we've got those two ready to go. Now we've got our onions and our peppers that we need to bag up as well. Give them a good bang and they'll come apart. Okay, perfect. And we got, I just cut these up this morning. These beautiful peppers. Okay, so we're going to put a nice handful of the peppers. We're going to divide this ba these bags between these two. I have these onions already sliced in my freezer. That's why I'm using these. Otherwise, I'd be using the red onion because we love red onion. Get that closed up. All right. Let's see if I should put some more in there. Beautiful. Okay, so there is our shrimp fajita kits. Now I'll show you what I'm going to do. I'm out of Ziploc bags, so you use what you got. We've got lots of bread bags, so we're going to pack these because these are in Ziploc already. We're going to package these in these nice little bread bags. That's what makes a nice little kit. It looks beautiful. That way you don't waste a, an expensive, these are cheap, these bread bags are cheap. You won't waste an expensive Ziploc bag. Looks nice. These are wonderful. You're going to love these, friends. My family loves this. John's not so much. He'll eat shrimp. He likes shrimp deep fried. He doesn't really care for it other than deep fried. He's not much of a seafood person. But the rest of the family loves them. There. Now all I'm going to have to do is just label and date them and get them in my freezer. Aren't those nice? I might do another one of them. We'll do another one. 
We'll put it in that right there. It'd be nice to have three of them in the freezer. And they're packaged quite well, so we'll not worry about them. And well, then we'll do the other three pounds. Um, these are one, these are two pound bags, so we'll do the other three pounds with the garlic butter shrimp. Okay? Okay. And because I'm out of lime juice, I'm just going to use lemon juice. Okay, so here we go. One, two, three, four. Beautiful. We're going to do two tablespoons of the lemon juice. Lime is best, but lemon will work too. Then we're going to do a tablespoon of olive oil. Beautiful. up the arrow just give it a little bit of a rub mix gorgeous okay now we're just going to utilize this bag right here with the onions and we're going to put some peppers in there And because we don't have enough onion, I'm going to slice up a nice red onion from my garden. Watch your fingers. Beautiful. That will be enough. Put a few more in there. Top of that onion. There we go. So there we go. We have that third one. I'll package this up and we'll be ready for our garlic butter shrimp. Okay, friends. We're going to do our garlic butter shrimp. And I'm going to melt my butter. I know you can just soften it, but I like to melt mine because all my spices make it, mixing it a lot easier. So we're gonna put that right there. And we're just gonna melt it. We don't want it screaming hot, we just want it melted. Okay, so now I'm gonna divide my shrimp. I think I'm gonna do two bags. Maybe I'll do three. That's quite a bit of shrimp. It's just Mr. and I, so that will feed the two of us. And he'll eat this one. He He's not fond, like I said before, he's not fond of shrimp. He, he loves it deep fried, but he will also eat it, you know, drenched in butter and spices. Okay, I think I got, all right, we got that divided three ways, beautiful. Okay, it is melted. Now, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna put we're gonna put three tablespoons of Italian seasoning in here. Okay. And we're going to put three tablespoons of olive oil as well in here. And there we go. I'm going to do three tablespoons of minced garlic. And that's good. 
going to put we're going to put a nice pinch maybe two pinches of red pepper flakes in there because we're also going to do some pepper and we're also going to put a pinch of salt in there maybe about a half teaspoon because my butter's unsalted. If your butter's salted, you can omit that. I want it mixed really good. And you want your shrimp. Um, no tails on it. Okay. We're going to divide this up between these three packages. in any. That is all we're going to put in there. This is beautiful. Mix it all in there. And then when this thaws in your refrigerator overnight, it's going to marinate in that. And that is going to be wonderful. And then when you cook that, you just saute it in your pan for about six to eight minutes. It makes a quick dinner. And you can serve it over a little angel hair pasta or rice or whatever you want. That's it. That's how easy it is to make up that butter chicken. And it's beautiful. And it's delicious. All right. So I'm going to label these and get them ready for the freezer. Okay, friends. We are going to slice up these onions for our chicken fajitas. And I got red and yellow. And these are the onions out of my garden. They are wonderful. And of course, I got my fan going so that my eyes don't water. Watch your fingers. These are sharp. And if I have any left over, of course, I'll just put them in the freezer for the next go round. Because we do a lot of fajitas. We like those. All right. Here we go. I got a mess over here. So now we got that done. We got all our peppers already sliced and ready to go. I sliced those all earlier today. So I got those done. We got our fajita seasoning that we made earlier. Now we're going to cut up our chicken. And I usually slice mine when it's frozen because it's so much easier to slice. slice it in thin slices. There we go. Beautiful. I leave my nice thin long slices. You can chop yours in chunks if you want. Cut your chicken any way you like for your fajitas. Okay, put this over here. I got plans for the rest of that. I think, not in this video, but I think we're going to do some chicken parmesan, parmesan casserole. A couple of casseroles. 
All right. We're going to put some of this chicken on the bottom here. Now remember, I'm making mine for two people. You might, you know, want to do yours if you got a big family, make it for more. Okay, so we'll put a couple more pieces in each one, even it out. Good. Okay. Oh, I need my oil. Okay, with this, we're going to do about three tablespoons each of our fajita seasoning in each bag. do maybe a little more. I'm going to divvy this up. This will be wonderful. There we go. That's good. Now, we're going to put a tablespoon of olive oil in each one. And we're also going to put a tablespoon, you can use lime or lemon juice, I'm using lemon juice, a tablespoon of each. A tablespoon in each bag, I'm sorry about that. Okay. spoonful of minced garlic in here just for extra because I love it. You like a couple cloves of minced garlic. You can omit that if you like. I think it makes it taste wonderful. Okay? And that's all we're going to put in these. And we're going to do just the same as before. Mix that around real good. Get all the air out of the bag. Beautiful. Everything's coated. All right, so we're going to set those aside. Now we're going to fill our four bags with our onions and our peppers. And this one can be one in itself. Let's mix these onions up so we have a variety here of each color. Okay. Beautiful. That's all we do. Let the air in that bag. Gorgeous. All right. We're going to divvy this into two bags. Okay. And 
fill both of these with onions. We got four bags, so we need one more. We're just going to put the rest of this right in here. My whole family loves onions, so it's not going to be too much. Okay? Beautiful. There we have it. Okay, friends. So just like before, I'm going to pack these in my bags. And these make nice little fajita kits. We want the air out of that. There. And then I am going to label these and date them and put instructions on them, cooking instructions. And then we'll be back and we'll see what all we've done today. We had a good day. Well, okay, friends, look at our beautiful freezer meals. We've got four chicken fajita meals that are ready to go. They don't take long to bake. They're wonderful. You could saute them or you could roast them as a sheet pan dinner. Any of these. Um, we got three beautiful uh, shrimp fajita meals. And we also got the buttered garlic shrimp. Oh my goodness, these are wonderful served with pasta, like angel hair pasta. And these only take about six to eight minutes. So you take this out of your freezer in the morning, it'll be thawed out by the time you come home because shrimp doesn't take long to thaw. And 15, 20 minutes and your dinner's on the table. Beautiful. I love this, friends. This is a wonderful addition to my freezer. I will put all the recipes in the description box below. You all have a wonderful day. Thanks for hanging out with me in the kitchen. And I'll see you friends in the next video. And as always, thanks for watching.